Welcome to Sunday Morning Alive. I'm your host, Devin Destrada, and I'm joined by your friend and mine, Randy Roberts. And these are the stories that we think are important. Our entire group is reading through the Michael Platt book, Radical, in an attempt to conform to the thoughts of the book, this winter, all of WCC will be moving to the cocaine superhighway of Mexico <laughs> to teach the rebel forces the good news. We are officially dubbing it Cocaine Superhighway Mexican Rebel Mission Trip in Guadalajara, Mexico, or CSH MRM TGM for short. Pack your Kevlar, folks. It's going to be a long winter. Last week, everyone was tricked into coming to church. The forecast called for one to three inches of snow. Then on Sunday morning, it changed to a high of 40 with nothing but rain all day. Then we got to church, and the blizzard ensued. It snowed so heavy during church that Joe, Luke, and Micah didn't draw a single maze or doodle one thing in the front row. They just stared outside the entire time, anxiously awaiting their time to roll around in it. Unfortunately, Jeff talked so long that by the time we got out of church, the snow stopped, was melted, and the sun was out. <laughs> Mike Gregory's dad has decided to sell his house in Columbia and permanently move in with them. The Gregory's are excited about the big life change. However, there have been mixed reviews from the kids. Michaela is ecstatic, but Grant reports not being excited about having to sleep on a top bunk now. This week was a big week at WCC. Several of our esteemed members celebrate their birthdays. Mark Willoughby, Spencer Besaw, and our good friend Brent Windrow all grew another year older. In celebration of this monumental week, we have put together a slideshow of our favorite pictures of these three outstanding WCCers. In a world of high fashion, one woman had everyone eating out of the palm of her hand. Good thing for her, it all turned around. Now she will have to find the strength to find the person within. Just in time for Kwanzaa. The nine to five grind. One man had the perfect life. That's when it all came crashing down. Now he will have to risk it all and make the hardest choice of a lifetime. Coming this spring. Happy birthday, big fella. <laughs> and now, with the top five social media moments of the week, here's Kara and Caroline. I'm Kara. And I'm Caroline. And this is this week's top five social media updates. Judging by his tweet, it is apparent that Patrick Parham is having hacking issues on Twitter. He tweeted, don't open any direct messages from me. Somehow the hackers have struck again. Hashtag, they're so cool. According to Facebook, Nathan Haley is now married, so make sure you tell him congratulations. Courtney Windrow tweeted, cat videos, they get me every time. Hashtag, here kitty kitty. Meow. <laughs> She's just as obsessed with cats as I am. This is her in 10 years. This is my first attempt oops, um, at a eHarmony video. I love cats. Um, I love every kind of cat. Sorry, I just, I really love cats. And I just want to hug all of them, but I can't, because that's crazy. I can't hug every cat. I'm a cat lover, um, and I love to run. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about cats again. <laughs> I just, I, I should have them and how cute they are and the other ears and the whiskers and the nose. I just love them and I want them and I want them in a basket and I want little bow ties. <laughs> I want them to be on a rainbow. And that's it for this week. We had a bit of awkwardness last week after our local athletic superstar segment. Let's review the events of the past few weeks. And for a relationship update, Stone Haley is dating Ashlyn Grace. 
Although, some girl named Daisy Davis keeps writing on her wall because she misses him and she really needs to talk to him. Then we had this report last week. And once again, making our weekly news feed, local athletic superstar Stone Haley brought a friend to church this week. We have a visitor's card that she filled out right here, and it looks like her name was Daisy Davis. Daisy Davis. Then this week, we stumbled upon this bit of awkwardness on Stone's Facebook wall. Stone was rumored to be visiting the set today to explain his side of the uncomfortable situation, but after careful consideration, he decided to stay home and work on his hair instead. So with that in mind, it is with all sincerity, Daisy Davis, that we extend this invitation. Since Stone will not come here and give his side of the story for all the world to see, we are inviting you to come here and face him like the field goal kicker he is and tell him what you think. What do you say? Are you in? We'll be waiting. The Castaways fasted this past week in an effort to come up with new ideas on things to do in the community. We have received mixed results from this one day of starvation. Misty reported deep spiritual insights and a closer relationship with Jesus, while Stacy, on the other hand, was reportedly asking people, does chewing gum count, or how about Dr. Pepper? And now with an update on the imminent end of time, here is T-minus Rapture with Linus Thatcher. Linus? Not today. Rodney was batching this past weekend as the entire female contingent of fights were out gallivanting in Missouri. Rumor has it that Rodney spent the entire weekend curled up on the couch with ice cream and his favorite blankie while watching the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants in order to cope with his loneliness. Sunday Morning Alive is sad to announce that after four weeks we have run out of all of our good ideas for new segments. We are relying on you, the listening audience, to help us out. We need your ideas. We need you to tell us what you want to hear and what you think would be funny. So in an effort to help you enthuse you to participate, we are offering an all-expenses-paid trip to our cocaine superhighway Mexican rebel mission trip in Guadalajara, Mexico. <laughs> no, seriously. We need your ideas. Leave them in the comments section below this video. Now, that is it from the news desk this week. I'm Devin Estrada. That's Randy Roberts. And we hope to see you next time.